Hi, it's Kurt here at City Campus, and uh, we're finishing our series that we've been doing this week on peace. And I think we have a final um, episode. Is that what these are? Uh, that's going to really tie it all together. So uh, it's from one of my favorite authors in the Bible, the book of James. Uh, and James, of course, was Jesus' half-brother, son of uh, Joseph and Mary. So uh, let's see what James has to say about peace and the Christian. Next week, we'll be talking about patience, probably one of the uh, subjects that's least associated with me. But uh, today we're going to be finishing off on peace. And I just want you to know peace is an outgrowth of godly wisdom. That's kind of what the Bible tells us, right? If you're connected to God, you produce peace. And, and the way you, uh, you know, there's just no, there's no doubt about it, right? That's what the Bible tells us over and over again. James 3.17 says this, but the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It's also peace loving, gentle at all times and willing to yield to others. It's full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and it's always sincere. And while that sounds hard to do all the time, um, I think we, if we look to the rest of what we learned this week, we know that peace grows from your connection to Jesus. And it must mean wisdom is from there as well. So as you grow in Christ, share your wisdom by showing your peace. And we've been using this right along, and we'll be using it next week too. Galatians 5, 22 and 23, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against these things. And I'm excited for uh, us to finish this little lesson on peace. I love uh, the concept. I, I sometimes battle it. I think you do too. And uh, good, to, good to study. Uh, uh, what God has to say to, about peace to us. I hope there's some peace in your heart tonight. And if there isn't, um, you probably just may need to have a better connection to Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, you can invite him into your heart right now. All you have to do is just pray to him and, and tell him you want to be there. And then get to your church. Get to your ministers. If you don't have one, you come on down to city campus. We'll be uh, in church on Sunday at 930. That's at 1710 East 10th and Jeff. And we're inside Maxwell's House of Music at 9.30 a.m. on Sunday. Uh, otherwise, get your own church. Tell your preacher. And, uh, you know, you probably should become baptized in water. So the Bible says that. Acts 2.38 says uh, to believers, it says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So you should get on down and take care of that. But uh, I as you grow more and more close to Jesus, you'll grow more and more close to peace. Father God, we love you and help us to exhibit and show peace in our lives and in the lives around us. Help us to bring peace to the world around us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, have a great weekend. And again, stop on out to City if you, if you want to. We'd love to have you, but either way, get to City, get your own church, and... Um, you know, you should really, uh, you should really do that. It's no sense in convenience anymore, man. I mean, I think you're going to be pretty safe. If you, know, you wear a mask, you can double mask, whatever you need to do. But um, I think, think you're good. So I uh, hope to see you in church this weekend. See you. Bye.